any of you that doubted that this place was a volcano, I think this is our most volcano-y view to date. Welcome back to Piano Book. It's good to see you again. So I've created a rusty rod for my back. I've had to listen to, I think, well over 400 of your incredible rusty gate samples. But first, a little bit of housekeeping after this. Oh. And this is the pedal board that the two different samples went through. Micropog for pitching it down, one octave. Electroharmonics, Super Ego. Strymon Timeline for a dash of delay. Strymon Blue Sky, Reverb. And the Eventide H9 on the Hubble Telescope setting. And the mighty Moog. Low pass filter. And Ring Mod. This is the first sample I cut out. Very nice. And now through the pedals. Yeah, this goes on forever, so I will just stop it here. Okay, now to the squeak sound. I tried to isolate the tonal part of it. Without it, it sounds like this. Then I added a low pass filter to clean up the tail. And both of them together again. And through the pedal board it sounded something like this. Then I put the two samples together in EXS and tuned them a bit. And this is the instrument. Thank you! So last week I talked about someone pointing out the difficulty of knowing which piano to download from Piano Book because there's so many and there's no demos. And we sought to rectify that by setting up a SoundCloud. This has now been done and I erroneously suggested you should send your demos in via email. In fact, something clever that someone's doing who's great with, with SoundCloud. But basically, put them up on your SoundCloud, email us the links via the SoundCloud emailer. Right. So let's get down to the shed to have a look at some of these samples that you've been making. But first, this. Hi there, Michael Denny here from Emotive Soundtracks, and I'm here today to show you the new Christian Hansen Birmingham New Synth 1, and that was created using one of the high-pitched screeches that Christian recorded in the station. First, I pitched this down a few octaves and then applied a long reverb from the Black Hole plugin. This was then bounced out with the reverb tail and imported back into the session. The file was then applied with a further instance of the black hole reverb um, along with a high pass filter to clean up some of the low end and a further EQ to reduce some of the discordant higher frequencies in the sound before again being exported. The resulting files were then loaded into the EXS24 and I fine tuned these to the nearest whole note and then mapped this across the keyboard. This gave me a nice pad sound I'm going to be showing some of the movies that were sent direct to me and then beneath in the video description is a massive long link to YouTube links where people have sent me their YouTube channels. This way you can check out not only how they did their sound design for the competition but also check out their channels. Some really interesting stuff going on. And the first thing that really struck me about all of your submissions is beautiful artwork and some beautiful, amazing, interesting scripts that you've created. It's been quite fortunate. I've had quite a lot of downtime eking it down into a long list that I've got here. And then from that, I thought I'd actually just listen to it on the proper big speakers here. Um, and that long list got compressed down into a short list from which I've picked my five favourites whilst also watching your videos. One, select pitched snippet from original sample. 2. Pitch up or down. Creating versions at multiple octaves. 
3. For each version, time stretch, tune, EQ, create an envelope and make loop. Map all layers to entire keyboard and adjust level of each layer for each key. 5. Adjust amp envelope and apply compression and EQ as appropriate. 6. Export samples and map to contact, remembering to adjust the envelope and make the samples loop. So the tracks that made the shortlist but aren't in the top five, I'm going to encompass into a pack of the best of the rest, which I'll give you a link for next week when we announce the winner. So before we get to the top five, let's go through some of the best of the rest after this. So I've had an attempt at building a sampler instrument from those two um, audio files you gave us. Sorry, this is my second attempt at making this video. I, I recorded the whole thing, but forgot to record the audio, so. Right, attempt number two. So I started with that squeaky sound in Birmingham you found. So to start with, I pitched it down, as you suggested. I pitched it down um, four octaves and cut all the way, loads of bottom end, loads of top end, just leaving that really pure sound in the middle. Put a bit crusher on it, some tremolo. Used that to make kind of like a pad sound. Uh, which I thought would be the main sort of framework for my instrument. So I took the sound of that gate squeak, sped it up, made it repeat itself loads. And in the sampler, that's pitched up even further. That's pretty much just the original sound there, apart from I've taken away most of the highs and the mids. Other sound, again from the Birmingham, the same sort of thing apart from I've left all the low end in, unlike the original pad. I've put a ton of guitar pedals on it and that ends up sounding a bit like this. Then to transition between the two sounds, I've kind of added in uh, the sound of the gate stretched out, pitched up a lot, and then the pitch glides down um, to create quite a nice swoop sort of sound. Right at the top end of the keyboard, I've programmed some hits, just hits from the gate, taking the top end off, put a reverb on, some chorus, some fuzz. Then um, on the bottom end of the keyboard, it sounded a bit like a synth. Basically the Birmingham squeak with some pedals added, just to give it a bit more of an interesting tone. I've then put a bit crusher on it, taking away the top end there. Make some tea. So when I started, I was really kind of really overwhelmed by the task at hand. Am I listening for kind of programming complexity? Is it about the kind of the GUIs that people have created, which obviously doesn't apply to the EXS instruments? Uh, is it playability? And then as I started moving through, there were just a couple where I went, oh, hang on. This is this is really useful. These are simply my favourites from which you guys pick the overall winner and the top three will get a free copy of Ambient Guitars and the overall winner will get this free bit of kit that I will tell you all about later. But first... Hey Christian, thank you so much for the opportunity to do this. It's uh, I've really enjoyed it. First time sampling something uh, like this at least and it's been a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, let's dive into logic here. So. I took the rusty gate, I shortened it a lot, time stretched it with a logic. I added a ton of effects to it, mostly sound toys. I used their little altar boy, I pitch shifted it down a lot, and then I added some distortion. Nice little plate reverb. I used their guitapitator, oh, I can never say it. I used that plugin, and then I turned on punish, and then I put on the crystallizer. I kind of repeated the process. I used a little altar boy, and I pitch shifted it back up, but I left it mostly dry. Um, and then I used the little plate, but this time I turned it on the infinite setting, and it just 
lets it sustain forever. And then lastly, I used the black hole. The bit of kit has been ordered on eBay. Oh, it wasn't actually, it was Reverb. So if you were kind of watching that product, it may just have disappeared. It actually was recommended by my wife, who is much, much cooler than me. And uh, she remembers her guitarist using it and saying it was really cool. And it is for you guys to decide in a poll that will appear at the end of this film. But first, this. Hi, Christian. So let me give you a quick overview of what I've done to make this contact library. So I use this app on my iPad called Sample, which lets you um, import samples and play them with your hands. So in this case, I'm using the Ebo setting, which lets you almost play the audio file like a Ebo. So you get to select a region, and when you place your finger on it, you can play that region in an almost granular loop. Um, so I've imported the squeak sample and I have um, played with the envelopes and have played it uh, to make a longer sustained note with different parts of the waveform. Next I grab that long sustained note and I make a contact instrument with it. I've added some effects, so a high pass filter to take out some of the rumble, tape saturator to kind of get that lo-fi tape color. I've then added a compressor just to equalize out any um, dynamic inconsistencies. Then added a modulation curve for the note, which is based on a string, which is a preset in contact. And then finally, I've added a formant filter, which gives this sample library the ability to talk. So my main aim was to almost create a choir-like effect with this. So the formant filter models have vowels, um, the resonance in your throat of vowels. So we can apply this like a talk box to the sample. Um, I think the effect is quite nice. So this is actually sent in from the guys at the Spitfire HQ. See, this, they did make my short list, the little asterisk there marks the spot, but the competition was tough, as you'll see. So a fantastic selection of GUI, some quite funny stuff. Look at that. I'd love these space drones, a great GUI. Very clever bit of scripting that. One of the many rusty gates I now have in my sample folder. What I love about it is how different they all are as well. Absolutely brilliant. That came really close to being top five, that one. Really love that one. Absolutely great stuff. There's all this kind of electricity in there that's fantastic. Look at these GUIs! You win, Gatey McGateface. That wins for the best name. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely, BHM P4, absolutely mental GUI there. I couldn't get everything to kind of do stuff that was quite kind of interesting. Absol 
just staggering work going on here. Absolutely. Many congratulations. I like this one as well. It's great. Amazing. Right. So to the top five. But first... Oh, hey, Christian. This is the, uh, the the squeak sound that you recorded somewhere in Bristol. Outside of just the, the squeak itself, what struck me was the, the space around it. And so I basically ended up marking up all the different squeaks like I've done here. I turned down the gain on all of it, so we were left with the squeaks isolated. And then I've zoomed in even further and kind of even more accurately isolated only the squeak. And then I decided to have try to capture the reverb as well around that and i kind of have it like open up a little bit bounce it as an audio file split them up i treated them in melodyne a little bit basically created sample consisting of the squeak and then the harmonics then loaded those in contact then because i had six of six samples um you know one two three five six i decided to do a round robin and so i've done that for these ones for the tape loop ones i've only used the stuff that happens after the initial sound so it's basically only the reverb that's kind of, a, I thought it was kind of a cool sound because it has all these like jittery parts in it. First one's by Arta and it's made with these photosynthesis uh, engine. I don't know if that's a free kind of script. And he's done a whole bunch of sounds, about 12 sounds. One features my voice, which is very embarrassing. I won't dwell on that one. But this one really took my like. Next up, Ben Tinker, who has to win prizes for the best GUI. But it's not because of the GUI, I promise you. The sounds are extraordinary. So he set up a kind of an Evo grid so you can change the sounds like this. When you adjust the modulation wheel, look what happens. Beautiful GUI and lovely inventive sounds. Next up, Johan and his pearly gate. Just, uh, I can't figure out how you've programmed that, but there's this all there's the, the arpeggiator, there's something going on in the background, the modulation wheel does all sorts of things, and the sustain pedal just behaves in a really bizarre manner, which is just really gratifying. Stunning. And then Max Christensen Audio, and he's made a whole bunch of stuff, but it wasn't until I heard the rusty brass that I thought, I'm having that. And finally, Michael Denny. Okay, if you don't use Logic, you're not on Apple, uh, that's how you need to make it. It's just one sample stretched across uh, the lots from A Sharp 3. And what a beautiful sample it is. Let's have a listen. Now, the reason this was very close to a couple of the other ones that were in the shortlist, but there was something that Michael managed to capture that really it's actually up here. What I'm actually hearing is the space of the train station, uh, as opposed to the other ones, which are very kind of widescreen. This has a depth to it. It's when you use it as a drone with these intermittent things here. They're almost like slow stabs.
for me really sums up the kind of spirit of the moment. So let's say the poll will close a week from today. So down below, because I don't know how long I'm going to take to edit this video, down below is a date that it will close at midday BST. <laughs> massive thank you to all of you for your enthusiastic contributions. Please don't forget that listed below are just loads and loads of YouTube links to how people processed their sounds. Absolutely fascinating material, really inspiring to find new techniques, watch other people working, and what's more, to check out some other YouTube channels. Thanks as always for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done yet. Be churlish not to. All of these goodies coming up. Pianobook.co.uk is the place where you can go to download samples and upload samples to share with the community. It doesn't just have to be pianos. If you haven't rung that bell yet, do that if you want to be notified the next time I put a video up. The next one's going to be fascinating and you'll also find out what the big prize is going to be. And if you've liked what I've done here today, he's just waggling his ears, one of those would be much appreciated. See you again next time. Just going to go and enjoy my first PIMS of the season.